Now, as we were just discussing, too much sugar, clearly bad for your teeth, mm -hmm. not to mention your diet, but what about the fructose? This is the natural sugar that's found in fruit. Yeah, that is right. We're told we should eat more fruit, mm. but maybe that's the wrong advice. Yeah, that's quite a good question, actually. So here to shed light on the effects of fruit is naturopath and natural health and lifestyle guru, Dr David Javan. Nice to have you with us again, Guru. Thank you. Hello, Ed. Yeah. Um, Hello, Let's discuss this sugar thing. I mean, what's the difference between fructose? Because there's a lot of oses, oses. which yes. can be kind of confusing. You've got your lactose, sucrose, glucose, but fructose we want to focus mm. on. So first of all, there's a thing called GI, glycemic index. Yep. Yes. Now that ranks carbohydrates as to how they affect your blood sugar levels. All right. So glucose has a GI of 100, mm -hmm. fructose 19, and together they're used to form what we call sucrose, which is table sugar. Okay. Ah. And that has a GI of 65. Right. Now honey, which is about 75% sugar, has a GI of between 45 and 65, which is very similar to what you get out of table is sugar. Is lower better on the scale or higher? Yeah. Better. Lower is preferable. Okay. But on the other hand, you've got lactose, which is the sugar from milk and yep. dairy. Uh, that has a GI of about 45. And then stevia, which you might have heard of, yes, yeah, yeah. has got a GI of zero because oh. there's no sugar and carbs in there. Okay, mm. so then how does the body react to fructose versus sugar? Okay, so this is the interesting bit. Yeah. Glucose can be metabolised and broken down by just about every cell of your body. Fructose can only be broken down by your liver. Uh -huh. mm. So when you consume excessive amounts of fructose and your body is unable to metabolise or break it down, it converts to a thing called free fatty acids. Now these form like little droplets, globules of fat in your liver, you and they that. may lead to a condition called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and or type 2 diabetes. And may I just add also, when you get your blood test done and when you see those triglycerides rising, yeah, yeah. that is actually from your fructose or excess fructose or free fatty acids more than anything. So, wow. am I understanding we actually need to eat less fruit? No, uh, it's more, now we've got to clarify a few yeah. things. Okay. First of all, there is a condition called fructose malabsorption. Now in this condition, people that suffer from it lack what we call fructose carriers in the enterocytes of their small intestine. So what happens is the fructose doesn't break down, it builds up, mm -hmm. and this causes bloating and distension and discomfort and so on. So ideally, we are able to consume between 25 and 40 grams of fructose a day in normal healthy individuals, okay. yeah? Mm -hmm. But if you suffer from this fructose malabsorption, mm -hmm. you have to consume less than 25 grams a day in order to manage the condition. Okay, Cut good. It. Keep eating your fruit, everybody. Great yes, info. Please. Thanks, Doc. Um, so My stop pleasure. juicing and relying on that as your fruit intake. Get the pulpy version Great. if you can. Parents, send your kids off with whole pieces of fruit Absolutely. for their lunch and avoid that high fructose like we see in the corn syrup. Agave mm -hmm. nectar's probably That's another one too, yeah. yes. Please. Is it? Great yeah, info. Goodness me. Yeah. Thanks for that.